Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And for 2023, we're taking the favorite project from each week and entering it into a tournament for the best Gato project for the year. So be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. Number eight. With the recent release of Gato 4.0 Stable, there has been an influx of high quality 3D demos and prototypes making their way through the social verse. Our number eight spot is dedicated to a number of these showing off Gato's global illumination system, SDFGI, which makes heavy use of side distance fields to create these lighting effects. Number seven. Set off on a thrilling, side-scrolling journey in memory. Memory is all about precision as you flow from one jump to the next. Test your skill with challenging platforming to uncover the mysteries hidden within a strange realm. Collect clues, solve puzzles, and face death, only to be reborn again and again. You can check out Memory right now on Steam. Number six. Number six hit Twitter earlier this week and shows off an impressive 3D demo made in Gato 4.0 by Janos Yago. The visual quality is impressive and shows off what the Gato engine is capable of in 3D. With custom made assets made in Blender, the lighting and visual effects show that Gato is not just a 2D engine. Number five. In Fox Tower, the goal is simple. Make your way to the top of the tower to retrieve a lost soul. But you must time your jumps and use the walls to approach the platforms at different angles. While the mechanic is straightforward, what grabbed me was the art style and overall feel of the game. In a week filled with impressive 3D demos, a solid 2D art design can still get the job done. You can download Fox Tower right now on itch.io. Number four. Sometimes you just find something that is just plain cool. Number four isn't a game, but shows how the Gato engine can be used to make interesting and excellent tools. The sort visualizer by Dissonant Void demonstrates various sorting algorithms, visualizing the solving process with each step. And as with a lot of things built within Gato, this project is completely open source and usable within your own project. Number three. Number three comes from a subscriber to the channel and was a fifth place overall finish in the Gato Wild Game Jam. And Helen and Toby, despite the global zombie curse, Helen still needs her office to run smoothly. So she hires the man with the most beautiful red mustache she has ever seen. And it's just another day at the office, except for the fact that anyone can turn into a zombie. So if one of your workers starts thinking a little too much about brains, you can run into them to save them, or you'll have to fire them with a bullet. You can play Helen and Toby right now on itch.io. And if you have a game you'd like to have showcased, you can send it to me on the stayathomedev.com website and a comment below or follow me on Twitter and message. Number two. In City Game Studio, you are the founder of your own video game company. It's 1975 and you've just started your first game. Move up from renting a tiny location to develop your first game, to buying a permanent location, hiring artists and developers, and building a fan base for your genius game dev creations. Hire staff, manage a digital store, publish games, and win the coveted game of the year. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Object Wars earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite project this week in the comments. Number one. Voitech PE uploaded a showcase of their projects made within Gato 4 and featured a number of impressive visual prototypes. And I'm gonna let the project speak for themselves. 